Hey there y'all, Mr. Chase here. Today we're going to be wrapping up topic four with a problem solving strategy, which is writing to explain. We're going to stray away from the focus of multiplication and talk about how we're solving our problems rather than just getting the answers. Now it's really important to be able to explain your answers because it shows me what you're doing right or the small things that you're doing incorrectly. Now most of the time when you get an answer wrong, you're doing most of it correct, but I don't know where you're going wrong, so I can't pinpoint what to focus on when I'm meeting in small groups or individually. So what I've done here is I've went ahead and I've solved some problems, and we're going to go over how to explain your answer in a thorough, effective way. So number one says, Marsha got on an elevator on the fourth floor. She went down two floors, then she went up six floors, then she went down three floors. What floor is Marsha on now? Now you need two main things when you're explaining things. You need words, and you need drawings. I always start with a drawing because it helps me visualize my learning. What I've done here is I've drawn a skyscraper, and I've written the different floors on them that Marsha would be on. So I started with a dot. She starts on the fourth floor. Then she goes down two floors. That's the first step in my problem. And now she's on two. And then she goes up six floors. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's then on floor eight. Then she goes down three more. One, two, three. And she ends up on the fifth floor. Now, this picture would be a good explanation, but I need to see more. I need to know what you did. So on number two, it says, explain it. How did you find your answer to exercise one? And I wrote it out. These are words. It's clear. You can see my thought process. And if I go wrong at any step, I'll be able to pinpoint that. And I say, first, 